The U.S. House of Representatives has passed a legislative amendment that approves an India-specific waiver for CATSA sanctions for India's purchase of the S-400 system from Russia. The legislative amendment was passed by vote during floor consideration of the National Defense Authorization Act. The Indian-American congressman who authored and introduced the amendment has said that there is no relationship of greater significance to U.S. strategic interests than the U.S.-India partnership and the United States must stand with India in the face of escalating aggression from China. <laughs> Defence Minister Rajnath Singh has launched INS Dunagari, the fourth stealth frigate that has been built by Garden Reach shipbuilders under Project 17A for the Indian Navy. These highly advanced 6,600-ton guided missile frigates are the first Indian-built ships to incorporate modular shipbuilding technologies, and 75% of the orders for equipment and system are also being placed on Indian firms. The P-17A frigates have improved stealth features, advanced sensors and platform management systems, and are armed with 32 Barak-8 missiles and 8 Brahmos anti-ship missiles. After signing of the Indo-French 110 kN engine deal, the engine program will move to the second phase immediately, where the preliminary conceptual design work will begin, based on the studies that were done by Safran and approved by Gas Turbine Research Establishment. The DRDO has started scouting for Indian private sector companies that will be part of the jet engine program for supplying components and spares and also help absorb the transfer of technology, so that most of the hot core section of the new engine can be produced in India without any supplies from France. Gas Turbine Research Establishment will be in charge of setting up production line and supply chain vendors from Indian micro small and medium enterprises and the private sector, as well as setting up ground testing facilities and MRO facilities for repairs and service of this engine. After media reports that the Indian Air Force has deferred the Super Shukhoi upgrade plan due to sanctions imposed on Russia, experts have said that the upgradation of Su-30 has taken a back seat, and procurement of new fighters under MRFA is now a priority of the Indian Air Force. The Su-30 will get batch upgrades from Hindustan Aeronautics, that will include an upscale Dutum radar, next generation radar warning receiver, a new avionics package with the addition of Astra Mark 1, Mark 2, and Mark 3 missiles. <laughs> Boeing has said that it recently concluded a demonstration of the F A 18 Super Hornet's ability to launch from Indian aircraft carriers with two AGM 84 Harpoon missiles which exceeds Indian Navy's requirement to carry only one anti-ship missile for its carrier born fighter program. The Deputy Chief of Indian Navy and the Indian Ambassador to the United States, visited USS Abraham Lincoln, and observed F-35 and F-A-18 flight operations on the carrier, and interacted with the US aircraft carrier's leadership and crew. Mazagin Dock shipbuilders have issued an expression of interest inviting eligible Indian firms for collaboration in design development and manufacturing of various types of drones, that includes multi-utility long-endurance drone with electronic and communication intelligence payload with 10 hours endurance, amphibious drone, hybrid airship with speeds comparable with a helicopter, heavy lift drone with 100 kg carrying capability for transfer of spares to a moving ship, drone-based life buoy with artificial intelligence, ship launch tactical drone with more than 100 minutes endurance, and wireless charging station for a reliable hassle-free drone operation. Oh,